Hello there, let me show you how to set up your Berg CX-6 off-road caravan. Now the first thing I want you to notice is uh, the size when the caravan is folded up. So if I tell you there's a king size extra length bed inside, three single beds, full bathroom and a kitchen, you might be thinking I'm lying, but let me show you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, to lower the table. Uh, you can detach the table so it's not in your way when you're working on the awning. And you also see that step that I took out um, houses all your pegs and ropes. Next, I'm going to lower the spare wheel, which is mounted on a bracket that's attached directly to the chassis. It also has two gas lifts to help you lift it back up again. I'm going to detach the roof here. And you can use the spare wheel as a step to lift the roof. Um, we've got two stays at the back, also has gas lifts. To help you lift the roof. Um, on top of the roof we have 480 watts of solar uh, connected to two lithium batteries, a thousand watt inverter, a solar charge controller. Okay so here I'm going to unhook the slide out bed um, and then lower this tent on the side. This is for the third single bed. So there are two single beds underneath the pull out um, slide and then a third bed um, optionally on this uh, table on this side if you don't take the third bed then you will just have another table and you can actually add a fourth bed on the other side on top of the table and then you're going to need a loose table um, all right let's slide out the bed as i said this is a king size extra length um, it sits on four two meter full extension slides that can take 70 kilos each so let me just show you quickly what it looks like on the inside so you can see the king size bed when it's slided out and the three single beds um, and uh, yeah you need to put those mattresses on top of the king size mattress when you when you slide it back in okay so the corner steadies are out um, i'm going to lift the roof in front so first detach the roof So as I say, um, you know, the roof pops up with gas lifts um, and uh, it pops up around 700 millimeters, giving you two meter headroom inside. It's as simple as that. Now um, I'm going to pop the front of the caravan to a vertical position for the bathroom. And I've got two zips on the side to close the side panels. And you can see it's an open air bathroom um, so the roof currently is open there um, and uh, you know it's nice it dries out it doesn't get soggy and, and wet and you know uh, moldy inside um, and then you can close the roof if it's raining otherwise we've got an open air open air bathroom and i'll show you the bathroom in a minute um, so yes the bed at the back has also got a pop-up roof with gas lifts and then a single zip that attaches it to the caravan uh, fully watertight and uh, that's almost it the last thing to do is just to slide out the kitchen and uh, this we've patented that the space left behind by the pull out kitchen converts into a bathroom the kitchen is fully kitted for six people um, it contains all your cutlery and crockery and everything else you might need this is what the bathroom looks like on the inside just to show you so we've got a nice open air bathroom big shower probably the biggest shower in any any caravan um, we've got a, a basin full-size toilet uh, hot and cold water and that's how you set up your cx6 now for the awning uh, we house our awning in a solid aluminium box um, and you will see uh, that it comes out as a square which makes rolling it up quite simple and also you know it fits into that small aluminum box just fine um, so the one thing that I didn't talk about when we were looking at the kitchen is that in the nose box you have a slide for a up to 90 liter fridge freezer so a national Luna 90 litre fridge will fit on the nose box slide out and the kitchen also comes fully kitted with uh, everything that you need for six people 
Now the awning requires at least one pole and rope right in the middle. Uh, the, the soil here is quite rocky and hard, so had a bit of a struggle there. Um, but yes, you do need one pole. Um, if it's quite windy, you can obviously put up more poles um, and then also side panels that is housed on the other side also in a solid aluminium box. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm not going to zip the side panels on. I'm just going to show the main awning. So the awning is also a heavy duty canvas, aluminized on top, um, so it provides you with some reflection from the sun. You can see it's silver on top, the aluminized, um, and uh, it's got aluminium arms that come out, and straps attached to the caravan to tension the awning. Now the side panels, um, there are four of them, um, and they're all exactly the same, um, so you don't have to remember which one comes where. Um, they zip onto the edge of the awning, and then you can actually either lift them up with additional poles and create a 30 square meter veranda or an under roof area. Um, you've got little triangles that you can zip in between the awning sides and to give you a solid roof all around or you can lower the sides at an angle of around 60 degrees and, uh, and then you can zip them onto one another again creating a tent um, that sort of angles down to the ground. Yeah, I made a mistake. I tensioned those straps too much um, so I can't get those arms in to their pockets. Um, and you know what's nice about these arms um, sitting in those pockets is as you saw the awning hangs down when just before you you fold it up so you can actually clean it with our leaves and dirt on top of the awning you can clean it off you can even rinse it off with the hose pipe before you put it away in the box um, and also because these arms are uh, detachable or you know they fold in not being attached to the awning um, it makes folding up the awning or rolling up the awning much much easier much simpler so the awning is roughly 2.3 meters the arms of the awning so it comes out 2.3 meters and then uh, the side panels will add another 2.6 meters to that's it. Uh, now we can just uh, lift the table. And your CX6 is ready to camp. All in under 10 minutes.